Dear cadets, a very good morning to you all. How are you? I hope all of you are fine at your sweet home with your near and dear ones. Dear all, today we are going to learn narration. This one is not a new topic as in the previous class, I have discussed about the rules of narration. So, before learning our today's topic, let's know what your learning outcome will be. First of all, definitely you will be able to grasp new vocabularies. Then, you will know the definition of direct and indirect speech that you already know. And finally, you'll be able to understand the proper ways of changing direct speech into indirect one. Now, dear cadets, I'm going to tell you some examples. And through the examples, you will discern the rules. And finally, with those rules, you will be able to apply them in new exercise. So first, let's see. Good morning, Mina. Why did you miss the most important class on the rules of passage narration yesterday? I said, here, the reporting verb is said, that is in the past form, that is past indefinite form. So definitely the reported speech will be changed. That is, the tense will be changed here. Now, see, saying good morning means wishing. So here, you can tell, I wished Mina good morning. And now, see, there is a question. Why did you miss the most important class on the rules of passage narration yesterday? Here, you already know the rules, right? So here, see, I also asked her why she had missed the most important class on the rules of passage narration the previous day. Now, let's see. Here, the tense is past indefinite, which you can understand through the term did. And so for past indefinite tense, you need to change it into past perfect tense, right? So you have used here had. And then for yesterday, you need to tell the phrase the previous day or the day before yesterday. So same has been applied here. Now see, alas, what a fool I am. Please help me on the topic. She said. Now you see. She that is Mina actually regretted. Right? So Mina regretted that she was a great fool. Now you see that. Please help me on the topic. So she is seeking for help. So you can tell, she also sought help on this topic, right? Now see, here the term please. So you can also tell requested. So she requested me to help on the topic. Now you see, don't miss the class. Let us discuss the topic, I said. So here you can tell, I forbade her to miss the class or I said her not to miss the class, okay? So forbade is a negative term. So you can use it here. When you use the negative term, then no need to use the term not, okay? Now let us discuss the topic. So I proposed her, to discuss the topic. That's all. Now, exercise two. You see, 
he said don't behave like a stupid i hope i could make my points clear now what will you tell he forbade to behave like a stupid he also hoped that he could have made his points clear now you see for i could that is could indicates the tense as past indefinite so you need to make it past perfect that is he could have and for have you need to change the verb make into me could have made okay and my is here actually he his so you will use the term his here sir we have understood what you expect from us from now onwards we will behave like a proper cadet no more will you be able to find fault with us please do not be angry sir said the cadets now you see actually these answers have been given by the cadets or the replies have been given by the cadets so first of all you can tell he forbade the cadets to behave like a stupid okay so now how will you reply here you see the cadets respectfully said that they had understood what he expected from them here this we is actually the cadets so you need to use the term they for we and for have it will be changed into past form so for have it will be had here so they had understood what you this you is actually the sir so what he expected from them they means actually cadets now they also assured you see assurance is given here they also assured that from then onwards for now you will use here them from then onwards they would for we there will come they for will there will come would so from then onwards they would behave like a proper cadet now they further said that no more he would be or no more would he be or you can tell here that they also said that he or the teacher would no more be able to find fault with them okay the last one is the best one here and finally you will tell that finally they requested sir politely or finally they requested him respectfully not to be angry okay now exercise number 3 see the teacher said to kamal why are you talking in the class you should behave yourself now this is a question right so first of all you will tell the teacher asked kamal why he was talking in the class this one is in present continuous tense so the indirect form will be in the past continuous tense now you should behave yourself so he also said that he should behave or he should have behaved himself now kamal is saying sir i am sorry i am asking hasan to lend me his pen my pen has run out okay so this is the reply of kamal so you will tell kamal said that or kamal said sir that he was sorry he added that he was asking hasan to lend him his pen he further said that his pen had run out 
and here you can also tell he was asking Hassan to lend his pen because his pen had run out. This is just flexibility that you can show here. Because you need to just make the teacher understand that you have understood the theme or you have understood the meaning. Okay. Now, the teacher said, be attentive and listen to my lecture. So what will you tell here? The teacher advised him to be attentive and to listen to his lecture. Is it clear? Now, dear kids, exercise number four. See, oh boys, please, please stop the cruel fun. Don't throw stones at us. Isn't it a game? See here, who is telling it? It is not mentioned here. So you need to read the whole passage and then you can get the answer. Isn't it a game? We are enjoying it, said the boys. So the reply has been given by the boys. But the first sentence has been told by whom? That is still now unknown. So what is game to you causes death to us. This is why you should stop this, answered the old frog. Okay, now you see who has uttered the first sentences? It is the old frog, right? So see, the old frog requested the boys frequently or the old frog requested the boys again and again to stop the cruel fun. It also told or it also said them not to throw stones at them. Or here you can also tell that the frogs, okay, the frogs, it can be here that is for us. It is hinted here that this is not only the old frog, rather there can be the many frogs who are telling. So you can tell the frogs requested the boys again and again to stop the cruel fun and not to throw stones at them. Okay. Now, isn't it a game? We are enjoying it, said the boys. So you will tell here, the boys asked if it was not a game. Okay. They also said that they were enjoying it. Now, the old frog answered that what was game to them caused death to them. Here, you need to put in bracket which them is which, okay? This is why you should stop this. It also gave the reason why they should have stopped this, okay? My dear kids, I think you have understood how to do it flexibly. Just maintain the tense and then do it accordingly. If one person or if one speaker utters more than one sentences, then you can use that is added or further said or also said. Okay. Now that's all for today's class. You will write down the example start in today's class as homework. Okay. And your question pattern, I'm telling you or I'm giving you the question pattern. This has already been given in the exercises. Till now, I'm telling you, you must do it at home, okay? I'm not telling you the answer. You will do it and show it to me. I'll check it. The girl said to the teacher, sir, I shall be grateful if you kindly lend me the book you praised highly in the classroom yesterday. The teacher said, I have become really happy to know what that you are eager to read this book. You are welcome to any of my books that you like. Thank you, sir, said the girl. You are welcome, said the teacher. So this is a very easy exercise that you will do it at your home. So that's all for today's class. 
thank you very much i hope you have been benefited and i hope you have been you have understood as you have already learned the rules right so you just apply it here there can be just a bit differences in your doing that doesn't create any problem if you're right okay so before ending our today's class i'd like to give you some suggestions that is you already know that a corona situation the corona pandemic is prevailing over the whole world for many a days right so you must take care of yourselves take care of your parents and siblings i hope you all will be safe and sound at your home because you are sincere enough and i hope you also don't go outside if you have no dire necessity if you have then go but be careful be cautious use your masks and wash your hands frequently with hand sanitizers so wish you all the very best thank you very much stay fine stay safe allah hafiz